Welcome guys. So we have a question here uh, from ECZ 2024 internal. This was question one. This was question one. All right. So what I've done, I've decided to just write it using a marker so that it's clearer. Sometimes when we, 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 we display the question paper, you find that it's not very clear. So I think like this, it will help even those that may have uh, sight issues. So this was our first question. What would be your answer? Okay. So what we're supposed to do, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, is to get rid of the brackets. Okay. Each time we have brackets in the question is to get rid of them. So in the case of this question, how do we get rid of we need to distribute this 3 on this. Then we distribute the minus 2 into this one here. So this is going to be 3 multiplied by 2x. This is going to give us 6x. 3 multiplied by 4, that is going to give us a 12. When we come this side now, minus 2 multiplied by x, this is going to give us minus 2x. Then minus 2 multiplied by minus 1. This is going to be a positive 2. I hope you are following me, ladies and gentlemen. Then at this point now, we need to put the like terms together. We need to arrange the like terms together by saying, uh, this is going to give us 6x minus 2. This, minus, this has to move with its own sign. All right? Then minus 12 minus, I mean, sorry, plus 2. Do you get that? At this point now, we ought to simplify these ones here. 6x minus 2x, what are we going to have? This is going to give us uh, 4x. Now, look at this now here. Look at this, what we have. This, if you, I wrote it this side, this is like we have minus 12 plus 2. That is how you treat that. Minus 12 plus 2. What do we get? So this is going to give us minus 10. So what this is what is supposed to be our answer, ladies and gentlemen. So for those of you that wrote, I'm sure maybe this is what you wrote. If you are writing an exam in this year, 2025, uh, please... You make sure you use these videos to revise. They have helped a lot of people. Those of you that may need one-on-one -on -one lessons, I'm going to give you the number that you can call on so that we continue. All right? So, uh, let me see if I can take you to the next question. Okay, so this is question two. This is question two. Uh, let's see how we can proceed to simplify this one here. All right. Uh, so if you like, we could actually split this into two. Let me say, what is Z? This one here. You do know that any base raised to zero is equals to one. So this is going to give us one. Then minus two, negative three. This is going to be, remember, we need to put a one over then now negative 2, and then 3, like this. Do you get that, ladies and gentlemen? And then we now need to go further and say, okay, this is going to be 1 over negative 2, sorry, multiplied by negative 2, multiplied by negative 2. Therefore, we are going to end up with 1 over negative 8. Do you get that? I pray and hope that you do. Then now, when I bring you to the question, this is going to be, as you saw here, this is going to be 1 multiplied by, we said this is going to be 1 over negative 8, and you know that this one is the same as 1 over 1. When you multiply 1 by 1, you still get a 1. 
1 by negative 8, you still get negative 8. Now, since this is uh, a fraction, since this is uh, a fraction, we'll end up with, we'll write it like minus 1 over 8. That is what is going to be our answer. All right. Thank you very much. I hope you've gotten this one. Let me take you to the third question. Let me take you to the third question. Okay, so we have question 23 here. This is question 23. Ladies and gentlemen, how do we factorize? We're being requested uh, to factorize this question. So you would see that the approach that we are going to take, first of all, we need to look at, I mean, what kind of method or what type of method are we going to use here? So you would see that here we could uh, use the, uh, a difference of two squares. But before that, we need to use the common factor method where we are going to, to, to factorize three. When you factorize three, this here you remain with nine. So at this point, this method that we have used here, is uh, what we call common factor method is what we call common factor method now when we look at what we have remained within the brackets now you could now see that we can actually apply a difference of two squares from this point these are methods that are taught from grade 10 going upwards so we could now be looking at okay let's try andy Factorize using a difference of two squares. So we maintain our three. Then now this nine, I'll change it to three squared, of course. This will be three squared, y squared minus x squared. Take note of that. All right. So now at this point, it's like he, this. Yeah, you have to take note of this one also here. Three squared, y squared is just the same as three y squared here these they are just the same they're just the same so it's like this and this are the same so now we could look at this one as this so finally we can have our answer in this form where we'll be saying okay we need now to write the answer as what are the rules of factorizing a difference of two squares so we have three then we have three y plus x close brackets and then 3y minus x close brackets this ladies and gentlemen is what is going to be our answer i hope you are following me all right i hope you're following me uh and then now from this point i'll take you to another question which was question 24 sorry sorry which is question four so welcome to question four. This is question four, ladies and gentlemen, and it is coming from a topic called coordinate geometry. It's a grade 11 topic. So like I told you, those of you that may be interested to have lessons with us, I'm going to give you uh, our numbers uh, at the end of this video so that you may reach out to us. We get to coach you one on one before you write your exams. And that I can greatly assure you that it will benefit you big time. That is if you don't have ample time to go through this material, uh, these materials on your own. Okay, so let's look at this question now. So we are being told that uh, L, okay, or this equation, a straight line L is represented by this equation. All right, a straight line L is represented by this equation. So find the gradient of the line. In other words, we're just saying find the gradient of this equation. That's the question here. So to find the gradient of this equation, we need to write this equation in this form. Y is equals to mx plus c. So now we'll be looking at what will be the coefficient of v. m here is what is going to be our gradient, ladies and gentlemen. So basically that's what we are doing. So we are saying we need to write that equation in this form. Okay? So we get to say 2x minus y is equals to 5. 
Remember, I'm trying to push the equation until we get it in that form, then that will be what we're trying to do. So what do I do? The first step, I'm going to be saying, okay, let me say minus y is equals to minus 2x and plus 5. I hope we are together so far. Remember, I've said we need to write the equation in this form. So, we will be dividing both sides by negative 1. Here also by negative 1. This side by negative 1. Once we have done that, here we are going to remain with y is equals to negative 2 divided by negative 1. This is going to give us 2x. This is positive 5 divided by negative 1. This is going to give us a minus 5, 5. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have just achieved what I was telling you, that we have written this equation in the form that I told you. Now, this is our gradient here. M is our gradient. So, which number has taken the position of M there? It is 2. So, our M, which is gradient, is 2. Do you get that? That is what we are saying. I hope you have understood what I have said. Alright. Uh, please, if you have followed our lessons and you are comfortable giving us the chance to coach you, uh, it would be of great honor if you can reach out to us on these numbers. The first one is mine. The second one is for Mr. Piri. Uh, we will do teach together if we have plans. Uh, thank you very much for joining me during this presentation.